Today, I would like to talk about four dirty little secrets your primary care providers or PCPs don't want you to know. My name is Bill Chan, a board certified OBGYN. This channel is all about helping you to get the care you deserve. So what am I talking about? First of all, primary care physicians. They are supposed to help you navigate through this chaotic healthcare of ours. But do they though? Are they really helping you? I'm not so sure. First of all, I don't know of any independent PCPs, meaning almost all of them work for somebody. It could be a group of doctors, hospital, or teaching institution. Now, what happens is they have incentives. They're incentivized to use cheap drugs, do as few tests as possible, and to refer patients within their network. Here is the first dirty little secret. For annual GYN preventive exam, you do not need a referral. Meaning, even if you have just started with a new PCP, you can still go and see your old GYN doctor. Now, I got to think about this because last week, I had a patient who's been under my care for years and she wanted to come and see me, but her new PCP said, no, I cannot give you a referral to your old GYN because now you're in my network. You need to go see one of mine. How is that fair? Second, if you have any problems, we're talking about pain, bleeding, persistent infection, newfound pelvic mass, you do not need to, to get a referral from your PCP. You can go see anyone you want. Third, mammogram. You can get your mammogram anywhere you want to go. Now here is the biggest dirty little secret I think you ought to know. For prenatal care, you actually do not need a referral. You can go find your own prenatal care provider. It's, it's your decision. For example, I practice in Massachusetts, north of Boston, there was a hospital, or still is, but their statistics in regards to cesarean section was one of the highest in the nation. Now, in that hospital, think about all the primary care doctors. They knew what was going on, but what did they do? They referred patients within the network to that hospital, which really had lousy statistics, right? Imagine if you, didn't, if you thought you could go see someone else. You don't have to come and see me, but there are plenty of doctors you can choose from. It should be your decision. Remember, I'm on your side. If you found today's video helpful, click here to subscribe, and you can click here to watch more videos. Until next time.